hello what's up my good people welcome back to my youtube channel this is samuel travel and history and today i'm in kilifi county in a small town called mtwapa and i'm i'm here to explore the jumba lamtwana ruins or the big house of slaves and uh, there has no specific written documents to justify when these ruins were constructed but due to excavation that has been that happened here around 1972 gives us evidence that the jumbala ruins emerged in the 14th century and it was abandoned a century later that is 15th century and these jumba ruins consist of some sections that is the house of the cylinder house of the kitchen and the house of many pools and also there is a tomb and uh, this section was chosen because of the security reasons that were around this section because there is no harbor that is along this section so that means ships or large vessels could be docked all the way to Mtwapa Creek another reason that made this section to be chosen is because of the breeze that was coming from east side and the west southern side of the sea and the fresh water that was around this area businesses was the business was booming around this section between the outside world and the east african coast i'm not sure if there are slaves that were in this area so the reasons as to why this Jumba ruins were deserted is because of the hostility that was experienced over here from communities around this area and um, the fresh water be changed to become uh, salt water and um, the tropical diseases that came about and people who were over here got sick started dying and that's how these jumba ruins were deserted and everything was abandoned so please guys i want to give you a retro i want to give you the full insight about these jumba ruins so stay tuned watch the full video remember to subscribe like share and i'm going to give you the urge and the history that will make you visit over this place so stay tuned and remember to subscribe jumba ruins in, in english it means a large house of slaves now this place is a puzzle it doesn't have any historical background to prove that the slaves were here mm -hmm. what we assume is maybe the slaves are the one doing the work or maybe building and all and all mm -hmm. maybe when they finished they were taken maybe to another area okay so, so maybe they were exported to zanzibar yeah, or somewhere yeah. else yeah. okay so you can show me how this place looks like yeah. so it, it was gazetted as a national monument mm -hmm. in 1954 okay and in 1972 the national museums of kenya took place took it okay and started managing it mm -hmm. Excavation was done in the area in 1972 also okay. by an Englishman called Jim Stuckman. And when he came to this area, Alikuwa Metoka Zanzibar. Oh, he was from Zanzibar? Yeah. Okay, so the the reason as to why he was coming to do the excavation here is to find, find out, to find out yeah. whether there were slaves or oh, the evidence yeah. of the slavery or maybe what was happening in Jumba ruins. Yeah. So, guys, before you see like this ju the construction that was happening here they were using like coral. the color color leaves coral rocks, coral rocks. And they improvised limestone yeah. and why the, what was the reason of them using the color rocks no back then a coconut is the block that we use right now okay. considering that it is in the 14th century okay and this is readily available up aqua ocean, Qua ocean. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I found out that the color leaves, they are very strong. Yeah, they are very strong. They like the whole entire process 
ya kutengeneza the building materials inge take for two years inge take two years okay. now for them to start building building so the the coral rocks na the improvised limestone wangezi tengeneza wangezi prepare ndio wajenge nazo mm-hmm. for like two years okay. and then they start building the area wow okay tell me where we are heading to right now uh, the house of the cylinder the house of the cylinder yeah. that's one section of the jumba ruins yeah. okay So this is the entrance. You can see still the some portions of the ruins are still strong and still standing. This is the entrance. It looked like an arch like structure. You can tell from like these sections. Time, the there was, was it was fenced. It was fenced. Yeah. Okay, but the access to the town if you are not an an, an Arab. How come maybe from them? Okay. So like the rock, the the local people when you are looking at Kahuku, our people have the access to Kenya Kahuku. Okay. So they had the access if maybe the Arabs on the canal they watch their behavior, or okay. their family, and where where they like you, but I think, but I think it's an area. So like it, it had a, like a very a very long fence. So mm-hmm. if you were an outsider, you were not allowed to come into the no, ruins. No. So you had to gain like the access, the access, love, the love. The affection, from the arabs yeah. what okay so if maybe you get like a woman mm-hmm. and then they like you mm-hmm. and then now they no wonder we have like the swahili people okay because the swahili people came about because of the intermarriages between like the arabs, arabs and, and the bantus the local, yeah, and the bantus okay. the local people who are here, who are here. So, so they like they intermarried and they formed the they swahili found the swahili people. people and that's how i found out that they are in the garelli there were women or men who decided to slim to become mm. muslim so that they can gain the access to the ruins and to do businesses with the arabs do business with the arabs uh, some of them intermarried with the arabs and then they had kids in the in the same the, area, the same area. So they had residential houses in this area okay yeah. okay that's why there are so many sections in these ruins we have, uh, we have right a, now we are we can, the house of the cylinder house of the cylinder now it's called the house of the cylinder okay because of this two cylindrical structure this cylindrical structure the two of these ones yeah. okay so if you look here further mm-hmm. it's like a pit there how are these people able to the help themselves there. in this no it's a ruin it's called a ruin because in arabic arabic okay but maybe back then it was equally kwanzuri kama like a pit a pit was constructed yeah. very nicely so you see these people were Muslims. Okay. Many Arabs are Muslim. Mm-hmm. The reason as why the whole area was occupied by Muslims. Okay. That's a fact. Because the entire area is only Muslims. Hakuna any available church ama a Hindu temple or a temple temple synagogue or something like that. So what we know about Muslims, after umetoka kujisaidi ya msalani, mm-hmm. you have to wash yourself. Yes. So ungesimama in this two cylindrical structures, okay. this is called a cistern. Assistant, this one. Yeah. It looks like a jacuzzi. <laughs> it's called assistant. Okay. So inge kwa maji hapo. Mm-hmm. And then wange zi, inge chota maji using like a coconut. Like to a coconut. The coconut bowl. Yeah. Okay. Alafu you wash yourself over yeah. here. Wow. Okay. That's why it's called the house of the cylinder. Because of the two cylindrical structure. Okay. Now if you look at mm-hmm. the wall, mm-hmm. it's thicker kuliko zinye tunabili this day. Okay. Now it was this deep to build a very strong foundation. Remember that day, hakukuwa na like the metal bars. Okay. Na kujenga foundation ya nyumba. Okay. So the wangejenga the nyumba this day mm-hmm. for foundation. Mm-hmm. Alafu to regulate the room temperature. Wow. So maybe kama, what you know about Mombasa, na, una, it's very, very hot. So ndani ya nyumba ingekuwa very hot. Like inge kuwa na cool warm temperature. Okay. Ju hizi mawe ni thick. Uh. Uge absorb the heat, the hotness from outside. Okay. So when maybe it ni rainy. Ndani kuge kuwa Hot, warm. warm and the outside. Ju hizi mawe absorb the, the heat. Yeah. Okay. Na yeah. for security. For security reasons. Yeah. Okay. Now the wall niches you see over there. The wall arches. Are these niches? Niches. Yeah. These ones? Yeah. Okay. What about them? Uh, they are called lamb jumps. Lamb jams. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So in lamps in those inge tumika, zinge ekelewa hapo. Oh. We are lamp holders in other towns. Okay. So the lamps, zinge tumia kerosene like these days. Uh-huh. The lamps are using castor oil. 
castor oil okay oh okay now i see the picture if you watch like those old movies you see the where they put their lamb's heads yeah. up there okay so next we are going to the, the small mosque and the big well. guys you can see or you can tell how much this jumba ruins consist of so many things and a big history and we are continuing to explore it i'm still learning and continue learning with me so we are going to the uh, small mosque, small mosque. And the big one. okay now this is also a toilet this one was also a washroom yeah a kind of toilet okay and then this is a well this is where they used to fetch water from yes okay now these people, I say, they occupied the area in 1350, okay. and they left in 1450. Yes. Now, like you might wonder, why did they like suddenly leave Left. the area? Mm -hmm. So one is maybe because of diseases. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason as to why I'm saying diseases is because unona hini kisima alafu hini there was uh, kusalani yeah. and like the distance that is left to your kubwa okay so, so the was, not was not okay so you mean the tropical diseases yeah okay typhoid, cholera yeah. yeah and maybe they left the area because of lack of fresh water lack of fresh water waki kujele kitambo in 1350 kulikona the fresh water fresh water unge digu kunge patama jeneli fresh Yes, ikatai ocean iko karibu mm -hmm. na iko na salty water yes. but wange chimba huko wange pata fresh water. Fresh water. Those, that is a very ironical thing. Yeah. Now, when they left the area wali, wali toka because the fresh, water, the fresh water that ilikuwa turned saline ama it turned brackish. Wow. Now, the reason is because yo 1350 maybe hawa kwa wingi. Okay. And then maybe when you value, will continue. Kuna the bantus, when I get hook, the marriage, marriage, the giving birth. Okay. When I touch it, like magic, when you more, yeah. So, so they continue digging, ukochini. And now, when they continue digging, they broke the water table. Okay. Now the water table it separates the fresh water from the salt. The saline water. Now, when they broke the water table, magic are mixed. Now the water turned saline, and make a turn brackish, and then they Th That's how. Yeah, one. That is one factor. Yeah, one. Fact. And then because of diseases. And, and maybe hostile communities. Yeah, security. Security reasons. Yeah. So this is the mosque. No. This is. Oh, this is not the mosque. Oh, it's an example of a residential area. Okay. And guys, as I was telling you, you see how they used to build their doors in an arch way like? Now, you might, the, how they used to build this and shape it that way, mm -hmm. they would go and to the deep sea mm -hmm. and take living corals. When you take the living corals, unaza they shape the way you want. Okay. Is it the ni wametumia kujenga huku, mm -hmm. they are dead. They are dead corals. Mm. Now when a coral is dead, how will you shape it the way you want? Okay. Now when you use a living coral, you can shape it the way you want. Now when you shape in a way that in a car. In a car that arc. Okay. Ah yeah. So you an example of a residential. A residential area. The so this is the small mosque. If you can see smaller in size. The smaller in size, okay. No, this is the big well. The big well. Yeah. So this one is the big well. This is where they could get water. more water. Now can the Japan like you see the water is kinda of black. Yeah, 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 yeah. So right now Haina like the, the fresh water. The fresh water. Okay. The water mpaka say it's black. So, what is the reason as to why this mosque was called the small mosque? It's, it's the smallest mosque in the ring. The smallest mosque in the ring. Yeah, we uh, have three mosques in the ring. Okay. Now, this is the smallest. Mm -hmm. It's called the small mosque. Now, maybe they, when they occupied this place in 1350, maybe they were not many. Now, when they continued. The population continued growing. Uh -huh. They found a need to build like bigger. A um, bigger mosque. Yeah. Okay. So. Now this is called a kibla. A kibla. Or a mihram. Or a mihram. Yeah. Uh huh. Now. Let's go. go. Go go go. This is called a kibla uh -huh. or a mihram. So this one is a. Let's pronounce that one again. Kibla. Kibra or. Mihram. Mihram. Yeah. Mihram. Mihram. Okay. 
Now, this is where the Sheikh or the Imam is to stand. Mm -hmm. Now, when preaching to the people or when praying. Mm -hmm. Now, Angiya, he's in Dani. Now, when praying, he will face this way. Okay. Now, when maybe an attack on Gelesha Watu, he will face this way. Okay. Now, when he's facing this way, uh -huh. he's facing the north. The north. Yeah. Okay. So, the north ni Mecca. The north ni Mecca. So, here when you're facing the north, north ni Mecca. Mm -hmm. and, no, and Mecca is where the prophet came from. Mm -hmm. Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Now, they believe when they pray facing the north, Prophet Muhammad will hear them and will answer the prayer. Haraka. Wow. And, uh, it was this tablet. Yeah, that was. For the sound. For... Remember, you in the 14th century, you had a microphone. Yes. So, if you were done here, so many people who are outside could hear yeah. the Mwadhini or the Sheikh. or the yeah. Sheikh calling for player time. Yeah. Okay. And maybe when he was leading the prayers, uh -huh. everyone here when you are going to go Okay. Since hapo mahali ni simama, the men, the men worship here. Oh, the only yeah. only the men were only supposed men. to worship worship from here. Yeah. So this is the section where the men were worshiping from. And the other rooms were for the women and the children. So this is the room from for the children. women and the children. Yeah. So it's already ruined. Now for them, the reason as to why Hawambi Pamoja where they don't miss the train mm -hmm. is because maybe when you wanna a lapung on a monamke me to the hapa me kambeleako, uh huh. I understand. Did you talk when they would have the tenor? Uh huh. Then rule the tenor, maybe the whole process continues. Continues over, over and over and over again. Now the 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 sheikh or the imam or the imam when you are is always a man. Mm -hmm. So even back in the day. Mwenye alikuwa pale ni Yaman. Now, useme gender disparities. Mm -hmm. Even back in the days, akukua na like a prophet mwenye alikuwa mwanamke. Mwana, oh yeah. Mwenye alikuwa prophet, alikuwa wanaume. Okay. So, pale ilikuwa mwanaume. Or even maybe, ungekua mwanamke alafu simame pale, alafu maybe yo, una, ume count your days, umera your menstruation is coming tomorrow. Uh -huh. And then by chance, it happened to kuja leo. Uh -huh. Sinona utakuwa, uta itabidi ubreak the prayers for a lot of people in the wende. Okay. And it's not good. It's not okay. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. The, uh, the man, the English man found a few things in the area. Uh -huh. One, he found a local oven. Okay. He also found a heap of... Uh -huh. He also found traces of... Traces, okay. In, the, in this area. In this area. That's the reason it's twice now, called the... Now, when he found those things, uh -huh. he concluded that this place was where they were using as a kitchen. As a kitchen? Yeah. And the one niche over there, maybe they use it was used as a shelf. Oh, the this one over here, they were using it as a, as a shelf. shelf. Maybe upon it one, they hold their spices. Yeah. And uh, the kitchen mm -hmm. was maybe used, maybe sana sana on the floor, like for baking purposes. Okay. I'm a maybe it was used as a baker to sana sana. Mm -hmm. Because of the local oven used on the area. Oh. So maybe happen on the kitchen and they bake their bread. And especially the Swahili people, they are known for their the baking uh, and their spicy food. Yeah, so. their spicy food. Now, now, the kitchen also had a, a well. A well? Now, the well served purposes for, to provide water for the purposes of the kitchen. Of the kitchen area. It had an advantage. Maybe there was an attack outside. Mm -hmm. An attack of magic or maybe kupika or something. Uh -huh. So, henge, henge wa hitaji kutoka nje. So, they could not go outside to get water. Yeah, since they had water. They in had a well here in the kitchen. So, this is the well that was just within the kitchen area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, it was... So, there is also a pit over here. So, it was a full house. So this was a full house. This was the well whereby the, it could serve the kitchen purposes. And this was the pit latrine over here. You can tell the distance between the well and the pit latrine. It could cause some havoc over here. So that's what my guide is, my guide is telling me. So this was the house of the kitchen. Now next we are going to the house of many doors. House of many doors. And why is it called the house of many doors? It had many doors. It has many doors. Was it for the purpose of accommodation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what. So that means if it has many doors, it has many rooms. Yeah. So 
more rooms, more accommodation. Yeah. Wow. It was used as guest houses. Guest houses. Yeah. So well, this is the many rooms. house of the many rooms and this is how it looks like from outside all the way to the other side. So these ones look this one look looks bigger than the, the other section in this yeah. area. Now in a car bigger than the others. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is where the leader of the town uh -huh. will go on a car. So so that's what I can see like this like uh, an elevated section or maybe a high table area. Yeah. Okay, and there is a a row over here. So I don't know the I don't know the reason is why these people are constructing a toilet very close to maybe wells or a high table area. It was constructed maybe closer to the well for the water. This for the water. Not just, even right now, mm -hmm. our Timiangi tissues as we use. As, okay. So they always use water. Water. So they now, have to bring yeah, water closer to closer the to them. To them. The, the hole is still right there. This one. Yeah. Now that is where it was a, a pot was there. So a pot was placed here for the yeah, purpose of water. water. No, and get uh -huh. and get wash. So and from the well and the, the pot was here. A pot with water. A pot with water. So this is still a part of the house of many doors. No, no this is not part of it. No, the rooms, the rooms in the areas that are smaller than These ones are smaller than the other ones. So maybe we assume the air, this room mm -hmm. were used to keep the agricultural produce. Okay. If they had any agricultural produce when they to become a stock maker. Or maybe assumption number two, when mm -hmm. they to to hide their weapons. Oh. So it could maybe serve like armory yeah. or a store. Maybe number three uh -huh. as a cell, I'm a children. Oh, as a okay. Oh, that's why the sm the rooms are very small to confine maybe the slaves, yeah. the armors, or the cereals, or the product, or the butter trade items. Yeah. Wow. So. So this one was the courthouse. Okay. So what about it? Even if you look at the Kenyan court right now, I'm any other court in any other country. There's that specific door, a judge and Angilianga and Anatoka. So this is the where the judge or the the one who is presiding over a case could come through this one. Okay. And then the first the, oh, what did you say? The? The curved area. The curved area, this curved area over here. Yeah, uh -huh. is where maybe the judge used to stand uh -huh. and uh, do his job. Or oh, do his judgment. So, now, the other door over there uh -huh. is where maybe the other people used to. To yeah. come in through or yeah. come out. So, this one could serve as the commoners. the commoner's door, yeah. the exit, or the entrance door. Of the judge that one the entry and the exit of the judge and that section that's where the judge used to stand or sit now the baobab over here the baobab over here this it's believed to be it's believed to be to have lived for 650 or 600 it's in between 650 to 600 600 years, years. yeah okay and it has a lifespan of a the EMT in Akwangana a lifespan of a thousand years and above. Okay. So for it to be between 600 to 650, mm -hmm. it's still young. It's, it's still young. It has a long way to go. Yeah. Okay. And also they used to use the leaves and the seeds to make women shampoo. Women shampoo. Oh. Now, it symbolizes the fresh water around. Uh -huh. It also used to tell, it's a rain teller. Rain teller. Yeah. Okay. So in the, the leaves in the fall, in the fall zone. Oh. And then when two protruding buds is okay, mm -hmm. now they will know the rain for it, Oh, wow. So it has many purposes, making perfume, rain teller, has like flesh water. Mm. Yeah, here at the central mosque. It's called the central mosque. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so this is the center of the town. This town was big, uh -huh. and uh, the only problem is uh -huh. before the government had already like owned this area, uh -huh. and, like they had taken the area and preserved it. Uh -huh. Man, some other parts were already grabbed by people. Grabbed by people. Oh, yeah. So this area has also suffer, suffered from the land grabbing and yeah, yeah. okay. So this is how the central mosque looked like. So these are the systems. Okay. Then for the men, mm -hmm. on this area. This was the only for the male yeah, for the male to pray from here. Yeah. Okay. So if maybe the male onge kwa wengi mm -hmm. and the the most kime ja, mm -hmm. they will use the other way. So if it was full to the capacity, they, the they could way. also use this side. Yeah. Okay, you see how these people are very wise. Yeah, very wise. Very wise. And like considering that it is in the 14th century, uh -huh. like you think we are saying these people are also rich. Very rich. Yeah, considering that you're saying you're dealing with stones, stones and like coral reef. Yeah, yeah, they were rich because of the trade. They were, rich. They were very rich. Yeah. Imagine tra trading slaves, porcelains. Spices, gold. gold. Now here, here, this is where the female used to pray from. So this is the female section yeah. where they used to pray from. They are that room. If the room in the yard, they will use this room. And it seems smaller than the men's room. Why? Uh, because still as women, the women they go to worship on the mosque. Okay, so it's the. Not a mask. Even right now. It's not a. It's not a mask for the women to go to the mosque. Uh huh. But for the men, it's a mask. Uh -huh, you have to go to the mosque. Uh, for, the, for the women, one is Zambia, Kwayumba, All, anywhere. anywhere. Bus, that is it. So, mosque by the sea. So, that is the mosque by the sea. And why did they say by the sea and this is an ocean? Okay, that's okay. So this is the to cross to the ocean. These are the ones. No, the texture is rough. Texture is hilly and this is a banana. Now you have the dead skin under your feet, and the dead skin you mean you use the rough. The rough one. Innovating and creating these things yeah. around the mosque. Yeah. So this is the mosque by the sea. Mosque by the and sea. It has some steps over. Uh -huh. yeah. No, this is the other. The other mosques. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this was the Friday mosque. The Friday mosque. Yeah. Okay. So on Friday, uh -huh. in the Wange Puja, uh -huh. they will gather in this. So everybody in this ruin was okay. supposed to come here on Friday when they had the players. Now on Fridays, uh -huh. the Imam or the Sheikh has 40 minutes to uh -huh. pass across the place. Uh -huh. Now the number of people that should be here are 40 and above okay. for him to start speaking. Uh -huh. So if the number is 39, uh -huh. the Imam or the Sheikh has it. Why? Why? Because the population in Afakua have in Afakua are 40 people, 40 people and above. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. What is the reason of the curve? There are five pillars. One, two, three, four, five. Uh -huh. It symbolizes the number of times they will pray in a day. In a day. So in a day they will pray like five times. Five times. Yeah. That's morning. Morning, uh, one. One. Uh, four. 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 I mean, I think it's four. It's four. It's four. Yes. And then you That is, is it seven or eight? I think seven or eight. I'm not sure, so. And so I lost myself. But so, uh, or maybe, uh -huh. uh, this mosque is also bigger this way. Uh -huh. they, they continue to increase in number. Uh -huh. So, I want to say that the smaller mosque is in the middle. Yes. I want to share 
Uh -huh. So they had to be bigger. A bigger mosque. Yeah. Wow. Now, we told them how to destroy them or the fungi. Now, I was trying the other the other mosques, okay. So maybe we go by the time we come back, I'm around this area. Yes. We get near this. Mosque. This one. Yeah, all the way, the way, the way to the other side. Mm. So you have to use that one that is accessible. Uh huh. I'll I'll use the small one. Okay. It's not a massive area, but I'll use it. Wow. So they they were also looking for how to save time. Yeah, and um, these people are very wise. So guys, the cool breeze around this mosque also maybe could be a factor why they constructed this mosque over here. Okay. Wow. So that is the coastal area or coastal so this is the view you could see from uh, maybe the mosque over here that is it so this the construction of these ruins they had a very strategic position you can see so from here you can see from far and far and far so so now we are heading to the marketplace. This is where everything was taking place. Butter trade, exchange of goods. This is where it was taking place. So let's find out what was going on. So this was the marketplace. Now the trade that was taking place back then was butter trade. So butter trade is an exchange for the food. We they did not use money back in the day. So the Omani Arabs will come with gold, jewelry, mm -hmm. and the spices. Mm -hmm. And then the, the local people and the Bantu will give them, they go from this place, they will give the Omani Arab the hippopotamus teeth, uh -huh. the rhinoceros horns, uh -huh. ivory, uh -huh. and the amber grease from a spam wheel. Okay. Amber grease from a spam wheel, we from the wheel. From the wheel. They come a mafia. So okay. the fecal material from the whale yeah. is the, the it's amber. It's like a fluid somehow. Uh -huh. Now the fluid in a resort can become a spice. So people who fight with the WWE wrestling, uh -huh. when I can wear their food to build their muscles. To build their muscles. Yeah. Okay. And also it is used to make the perfumes. perfumes. A country like France or Latin America, the amber is used to make their perfumes. Uh -huh. No wonder they have the best perfumes. Wow, that's yeah. okay. That's nice. So this was the marketplace. This is where the magic could take place. Exchange of goods, items. So guys, that has been an amazing trip exploring the, the Mtwana ruins. And uh, I'm so appreciative to my guide here. She has been an amazing, she has so much information about these ruins. I think if while it's not for her, I could not get each and every detail about this ruin. I really appreciate for you taking me around here and showing me around. I really appreciate. You can give yourself a shout out. Maybe someone can reach out to you, maybe in your Instagram, maybe on your socials or any other place so that yeah, go ahead and introduce um, yourself. I'm Eva. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm a student at Mount Kenya University. Mm -hmm. I came to this area for attachment. Okay, you're here for an attachment. Yeah. And you are doing a good job. Thank you. I also went to Mount Kenya University. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was doing a course related to health science. Okay. So I was an alumni there, but now I'm doing other things. So guys, been amazing. So enjoy. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please, please, please subscribe, like, share. You, How can they find you on your socials? Okay, I'll link uh, her Instagram or maybe her social media platform so that you can reach out to her she has a lot a lot to offer so thank you remember to subscribe peace